This drunken review is brought to you by Champagne. Champagne, the thing we popped this weekend for my boy DJ's 40th birthday. Fellow collector, all around good guy, DJ. Told you I was going to give you a shout out on the video, so there you go, man. But anyway, I, uh, I hope everybody had a good weekend. Happy Monday. I hope it was restful uh, and relaxing if you had to work as I did. I hope that the people that you work with appreciated all your effort in coming in the weekend. But uh, cheers to you, and uh, let's get this review started. Now, there are a few times in my life where I can truly say I've been taken surprised by a figure. I was not a big fan of all the weaponizers. I thought they were lame and kind of boring. But um, then I saw this guy in the store and I said to myself, well, the box art's great. It looks like a cool figure, something interesting. Let's give it a whirl. Little did I know this was easily going to become one of the best figures I ever purchased. I absolutely love it, but I got to give fair warning. 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 Parts forming alert. Parts forming alert. Warning. Warning. Parts forming alert. Parts forming alert. <laughs> I have to get that out of my system because... Uh, you know the parts form the anti parts forming crowd is uh, very interesting to watch because I watched a bunch of them who would go on rants on and on about parts forming how much they hate it how much they despise it I see it on Facebook I see it on uh, Instagram I see it on Twitter I see all these people in the collector community rail about parts forming and then they turn around and review this figure and say well you know this is an exception to the rule and all I can do is just laugh. That's all I can do. It's like, dude, you, you go on these rants about parts forming. And then you buy probably the most blatant parts former of all time. But, you know, hey, to each their own, right? Now, this dinosaur mode is just supremely cool. I mean, they put on a sheen to it that uh, just makes it pop it just looks like something straight out of like a museum and I mean it's just a fun dinosaur mode there's not much posing you can do in a dinosaur mode I mean this isn't really for the dinosaur mode but I keep it in a dinosaur mode because I like this mode personally but there's so many other options for this figure posing for this mode includes but is not limited to shouting match with Skylinks and finding a delicious legendary scale snack this time in the form of cliff jumper now this guy doesn't come with any weapons because he actually is the weapon so I just decided I'm just gonna rip his tail off and yeah that's it transformation simply involves uh, just ripping parts off um, so you get a bone pile and then taking said bone pile and composing what will then turn into a pretty awesome robot mode. And this robot mode is straight up out of some Wes Craven, John Carpenter type of movie. I mean, it is just insane. I mean, can you imagine this thing coming on the battlefield chasing you down? <laughs> I mean, the helmet alone is enough to just scare off the best of us and then uh, let's say you get into a fight and you're winning and you somehow get under the helmet this is what you have to look forward to yikes again he doesn't come with any weapons so there's his weapon and um, you're supposed to take it and take the bone into this hole that's what she said <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it when I when I was doing a description. I just I I couldn't help it. I just had to do it. Uh, posing for this figure is includes, but it's not limited to Headmaster Exchange with Snapdragon with varying results. And Predacon Pilates, which meets every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 5.30 to 7 p.m. with Black Arachnia. 
And now for the main event transformation, the thing that I think makes this probably the most phenomenal value for your buck. And for this example, we're going to be using Earthrise Sunstreaker because that air pipe thing that he comes with that they say is a gun, but it's an intake, uh, that's not a weapon. So we're going to give him real weapons. And look at him. Look at how much more intense he looks, how much, how much more interesting he is to the eye because you gave him some real weapons and not a vacuum cleaner. Posing for this mode includes, but is not limited to, showing off all your cool weapons to Hot Rod and him developing an inferiority complex. The worst stealth suit in the history of stealth suits. And when you want to spice things up a little bit, there's a extra weapon mode where you can have two back cannons and a gigantic broadsword of doom. And you can even share with Hot Rod and give him that Voyager size he's so been looking for. So, me being completely biased, I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10. I mean, I don't, I can't find a fault with this figure. I absolutely love it. Um, I wish all the other weaponizers were this cool. I wish all the other weaponizers had this much uh, depth to them. Um, but if this is the way weaponizers are going to go, this is the route Hasbro's going with the weaponizers, I'm all in. I cannot wait. I know they have one coming out that's supposed to be a Triceratops, and I'm I'm all in. Like just if you're gonna produce quality figures, uh, you know, figures of this caliber, um, just take my money. I'm more than happy to give it to you. Um, if you're not a fan of the weaponizer gimmick, that's totally fine. It's totally cool. I mean, that's up to you. But me personally, I wasn't a fan and I've recently been converted. But um, with that said, uh, be safe, be good. And uh, this is the Drunken Prime cracking open another beer and signing off.